Looks like this might be the last Transformers Combiner Wars review, unfortunately. Or at least maybe for season one. Who knows, maybe there'll be a second season. But judging how by how this one turned out, this might be either the end of Combiner Wars and the beginning of something brand new, which I will get into later. But right now, let's just focus on this last review of Transformers Combiner Wars. So let's get straight into it. So for those who are Windblade fans, don't worry, she's alive, she's all good. At first, you'll, if you've seen the episode, you'll think that she's one with the AllSpark, but in reality, she's not. And um, for those who don't know her story, I'm also going to get into that as well. Real, but real quick, I'm going to say she was talking to one of the Titans, Metroplex. And for those who don't know her backstory, before she became an assassin and killer on certain this Combiner Wars, on her home planet, she was a city speaker, and she was able to communicate with the Titans, so people like Metroplex, I guess. That's pretty much the only one I know, I guess. I don't know if you would count Omega Supreme and um, Trypticon as, um, as Titans, but who knows. Maybe if they do create something like that, <coughs> if for a, a new show or something like that, who knows. But yeah, she was talking with Metroplex, you know, going on, like, Metroplex was saying how she abandoned him and the Titans and everything, how she became a killer. They heard her thoughts that she's angry and she's full of rage and she's sorry about it and she asks what she should do and that's when Metroplex tells her to remember her place as a city speaker and so while she's laying on the floor still, like, maybe dead, she comes back to life and she summons Metroplex, or at least his hand, comes flying out of Cybertron's ground, which I guess is kind of cool, because that ties into, if you've played the Fall of Cybertron game, Trip, or, um, Metroplex was literally a city, but Optimus was controlling him, not really um, Windblade. But that was kind of cool still. So yeah, you see him, and he crushes the shit out of Starscream, or, well, it doesn't crush him, but he grabs Starscream, who, if you don't know by now, still is, like, the freaky, the weird goo stuff, because he's being controlled by the, um, the Enigma of Combinations, and so he, yeah, he grabs him, and then this part is awesome, it's the reason Optimus went to go get Megatron in the first place, because if you recall that he said that he, they needed to get, they needed a lot of firepower in able them to destroy the Enigma, and so they go to Megatron, which at first didn't make sense because Megatron's v vehicle mode is a tank, which is still cool because I did prefer the gun, or at least the old 80s gun, because it was able to fit in the hand of another Transformers. But in this one, he has a third transformation, which is the gun, but it's a Cybertronian looking badass gun, and that's not the small one, the small like German pistol one that we got in the 80s, or at least, yeah, that we got in the 80s. It was like an actual cool big gun that looked like the size of if he actually did transform into it. And so Optimus grabs the gun, because you know, it's usually how it goes when they work together, and fires the shit out of Starscream. And Starscream's dead, he most likely is dead, he blew up, but what's dumb is the Enigma is still a thing, it's still alive. And, but with that being said, Megatron gives the Enigma to Windblade, he leaves, saying the best quote in the entire Transformers series thing, that he, there's more to him than meets the eye, which was funny, I just found hilarious, because usually it's Prime who's saying that about humanity or something else in general. And so Windblade gives the Enigma to Victorion for some reason. For for some reason, the Titans are all okay now, even though they were being controlled by Starscream. Even Computron and Metasaur are not dead anymore, which doesn't make any sense. And I guess it's all cool now, which I don't know. That that there's like I can see problems with this still. Like out of nowhere, they just decided to end it like with this. Like all of a sudden, all the combiners are good with them since you know. Um, Windblade gave Victorion, who I guess is leader of the tight or er, combiners. She gave her the Enigma, and so now they called it a truce for some reason, which I find kind of stupid. Um, I think they could have done a lot better, or writing-wise, for the story to make that happen, make something else better and awesome happen. But I don't know what are you gonna do. I still thought it. I still enjoyed it. I still enjoy this Combiner War series, and I hope they create something new or have a season two to it. 
And now this is the part where I say they create something new. Because at the end of the day, when Optimus, Mistress of Flames, and Rodimus are all like saying, Hey, good job, yeah, it's all good, we're good, we won. Windblade turns, looks towards her home planet and some other planet that's off in the distance. And she says the combiner wars may be over, yes. But the Titans have returned. And then it shows a picture of a Titan, like with blue eyes at first, and they turn immediately red, which could be Metroplex or something different. I thought it was Unicron. Hey, and you never know who well, maybe he is a Titan. Maybe he's the ultra powerful god Titan or something. I don't know. But that'd be cool, wouldn't it? I think so. So that's where it all ends off. Like I said, I bet it could have had a better ending to the Combiner War, make, making a truce with the Combiner Wars. But, you know, it's too late. What are you going to do? Hopefully they create something cool like the Titan Wars or something like that. Attack on Titan Transformers style. That would be funny, but no. That most likely won't happen. But it was still a good show. I enjoyed it. So anyways, if you enjoyed this review, then click the like button. Go over to my channel and, uh, you know, subscribe. Look over some other videos if you want. I don't know, do something. And if you, if you did enjoy this whole little Combiner War series, leave down in the comments what your favorite, um favorite part about it was, I guess, your favorite scenes or whatever, and uh, I'll talk to you all later. Peace.